It is I. I have returned. I know you all missed me. All 12 of you. Um, basically, I just feel like playing this game. So we're going to play this game. And that's it. I don't have much of a reason other than I just want to. So, uh, yeah, here we are. And I feel like recording it. Because uh, I feel like it could be interesting. So, um, okay, for the record, this is a game called Outer Wilds. came out years ago. Um, but it's one of my favorite games. I always love space, so it's just been one of those games that I've always liked. It 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 tackles space in a way. Um, it tackles space in a way that no other game really has. In a way that's like not exciting and going through spaceships and blowing things up and intergalactic wars. It's just kind of like you just kind of go and explore around and. You find out some lore things, you know, along the way, you know, there's a story and all, but it's, uh, you just kind of go and do whatever you want, and there's dudes on moons by fire roasting marshmallows, whatever, you can join them, they're playing banjos and shit, and it's, it's cool, it's, I've always found it like a cool game, so, uh, but basically, I've never actually done the Echoes of the Eye DLC that they released, um, and I feel like doing this today, so we're doing this. So yeah, anyway, here we go. We're going. New expedition. New ex- there we go. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I didn't have years of progress or anything. Wake up. Nah, I don't feel like it. Sorry, I need my funny juice. Anyway, I guess we'll wake up. And there's a probe. There it is. There it is. There it goes. Here we are. This is where you start at the beginning of the game. You can, uh, rust a little marshmallow. I like, ow, fuck. I fucked it up. Okay, hold on. Yep, yeah, fuck. Uh, crap, hold on. I got this. I got this. I can roast a marshmallow, guys. I promise. You gotta do it just right. See how it's getting brown? No, no. Anyway. Alright, marshmallow completed. What up? There's our pilot. Back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program, and you're suddenly you're here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? You ready to get this beauty off the ground? So fueled up and ready to go. All systems go. Glad you're excited, but remember, if you wreck the ship, I'm not building you a new one. I'm not made of lightweight, re-entry grade aluminum alloys, you know. Hard to de hard, hard. Anyway, you'll need to get the launch code from Hornfels at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Okay, Slate. See, it's like... This game is like... If space was like country, you know? Kind of like Firefly, if you ever watched that show. It kind of reminds me of that a little bit. It's like ghetto space travel. A ship that, like, barely works in solar system. is very, very small town. Uh, anyway, I should probably, like, stop looking around this landscape. Some of you probably never seen this before. So we're on the first planet right now. We got a waterfall. Final? I don't even care. Yep. Catching my fish. <laughs> Excuse me. That's that's part of his dialogue. The bird. There's the sun. Okay. I don't know what that guy's doing. Um. Where am I going? 
Oh, yeah, observatory. That's where the dude said to go. There's that building right there. But, oh, but yeah, this is, it's just a beautiful game, dude. Like, really. Do, 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 do. All right, so this observatory basically tells you everything you need to know about where we are. Uh, this, oh yeah, this is just showing a star going supernova. Um, everyone learned that in science class. Um, yeah, and here's the first little piece of lore. This piece of Naomi, no, this piece of Nomai writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Although this text is linear, Nomai text often branches from a central point. Interestingly, each branch, ten, each branch tends to be written. I can't fuck speak. Interestingly, each branch. And it basically, you just use this thing, and the spirals are just lower texts in this weird um, combination of lines and polygons is writing somehow so and then this is the DLC right here this is what I'm the most excited about um, yeah you got the solar system and then you got this big vertical satellite that they sent out I'm not gonna explain it cuz I know what it is this time um, but there's this big vertical satellite that orbits like that as you can see and it takes pictures of the solar system and that's how they know um, that's what I know what the solar system is, so, yeah. Anyway, so now, you go up here, talk to this guy, Hornfells. There you are. I just finished pre-flight observations, and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Know My Translator too. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? I will wing it! <laughs> Planning to follow in the footsteps of Feldespar in the great Outer Wild Ventures tradition, are you? I might have guessed. Well, see if you can't put that translator tool of yours to good use while you're out there. Well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. I'm ready to get off this rock. Excellent. You'll be needing the launch codes then. Here they are. <laughs> Best get off the ground before Slate makes any more modifications to your ship, eh? Good luck out there. Let me know if you... Let me know if I can help you with anything. Okay. Cool. And here is the map. Alright, I did not expect it to just zoom me out to the entire solar system, but yeah. There we are. This is this is existence. This is the universe. And nothing else exists. And uh yeah, you got all the planets and uh don't need to look at that map much longer because we're about to see that shit up close. So, yeah, let's go. Do to do, nothing weird's gonna happen now. Oh, what's this? I've played this game before, guys. just happened. Huh. That was weird. Oh, well. <laughs> Happens all the time. Hey, hey. So did you get a good look at that Nomai statue? The statue looked at me and it opened its eyes. Whoa, whoa. The statue was doing what? So its eyes opened and you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around? You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch? Like, 
medically speaking. You know what, don't worry about it. Maybe you should sit down for a bit and take it easy. I hate for anything bad to happen if you try to launch while from you're not feeling great. But hey, when you are ready, then you can make the most of our translator tool. I can't believe it's all grown up and leaving for space already. For real though, I'm glad you're the one carrying it and not like Rybic, Rybeck. They'd fall on it for sure. Fall on it. Okay, yeah. This guy. Say, if you want to do a short trip just to get your space legs under you. Why does this guy talk so weird? You could check out the ruins on the Addle Rock. I'd love to learn what those are. Good luck and safe flying. Why is it E? Okay, anyway. I got talked weird. I could read, guys. I could read, I promise. Anyways. Tented to like jump down. Ow! <laughs> Fuck. Okay, I'm fine. Uh, where? Excuse me. Bam, bam. All right, well, here we go. But now, enter launch codes. There she is. Ain't she a beauty? Ain't she a beaut? Alright, now. Buckle on up. And let's get the fuck off this joint. Got our downwards view. But now, wait for her. Wait to get out of the gravity. There we go. Oh shit, there's the moon. Let's slow the fuck down. I almost ran right into the damn fucking moon. Anyway, so yeah, you're just allowed to just freely fly around in space, and it's pretty cool. You just go wherever the fuck you want. Okay, basically, there is a place here that has the DLC. I think it's right there. I think that's it right there, yeah. We're gonna do this, use this to land. Oh, 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 oh! Okay, we landed a little too quickly than I would have liked, but it's fine. Alright, now this, this planet's got air, but I just like using the suit. It's got a jetpack. Just makes life a little easier. Oh yeah, you can use this to like, uh, listen to people singing songs. Okay, well, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, it must be that satellite up there. Okay, so this, I, this shit, I, I have not done this before, so. And we're recording. I am. It's been two days since the launch of the Deep Space Satellite, and I'm about to view the first batch of photos. Let's record to show that on this historic day, Outer Wilds Ventures has... Ah! They're printing! They're printing! Here they come! Stars above. Will you look at that? There's Brittle Hollow. And look there! That's Hollow's Lantern. And then there's Giant Deep. And the Quantum Moon. I'm speechless. Completely speechless. You seem pretty speechful. Every single astral body in our magnificent solar system, looking stunning from every angle in each of these three images, and in color no less. Now this is art. I could stare at these photos forever. Doesn't Timber Hearth look tiny from... Hold on. What is that? That can't be right. That's... I mean, that's not even possible. Am I interpreting this photo correctly? What's even stranger is it doesn't show up in either the other photos. Just this one. Well, there must have been some equipment malfunction, I suppose. The only sensible explanation for it. I'll radio Gabbro and ask them to go examine the satellite's lens for defects. Gabbro? Really, bro? That's the name? Okay, what did they see? 
Oh, wait. Yeah, no, that's not right. Wait, no, yeah, it is this... That's... Wait, no, thence. Oh, yeah. I see what he's talking about. Okay, so you got Brittle Hollow. It's Moon. You got Giant's Deep. You got the Dark Bramble or whatever. Inter Interloper is just Comet. Two twin planets that rotate around each other. You got um, the first planet you started on. That planet's Moon I almost ran into in the Sun. And this one, you get, uh, this one, you got all the same things. Things blocking the sun is brittle, hollow, right there. Um, but this, what the fuck is that? That's not a planet. All the planets are accounted for here. You can see them everywhere else. That's not. Look, I'll show you the map right there. This is the goddamn solar system. So what's that? That's not a thing. Oh, and then selfie, of course. Um, but yeah, okay, that's weird. Um, it says unidentified signal. I'm pretty sure you can, I can identify it though. There we go. Nope. Frequency detected. Alright, cool. Mm. Look, at, you can see how, like, just how fast we're rotating. Okay, so we're gonna get back on our ship, and we're gonna go to this deep space satellite, the thing that's taking all the pictures, basically. Um, fuel. Let's go. Bada bing, bada boom. Map. Okay, I don't know why we're so zoomed in. Um, where's the fucking satellite? There it is. Okay, now we're locked on. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. Don't start autopilot when you're still in the gravity of a nearby planet. That's rule number one. I've never seen this before. I have no idea what this is. Uh, kind of excited. Oh, it's tiny. It's, ooh, it's very tiny. Okay, well, we're not that far from it, actually. Let's match velocity. Here we go. Let's see, by matching velocity, for because this shit is relative, right? So from our perspective, it looks like we're like being completely still. But we're actually moving the same way that satellite is moving. Physics. Okay. All right. What the fuck? Okay. This looks like a deep space satellite. Oh, there's a thing. There's a thing. Yeah, bro. Here. Checking in on the deep space satellite per ground control's request to check out a possible equipment problem. See, Hornfells, I do too work. You know, I wouldn't mind being a satellite. It's peaceful out here, among the distant stars and the soft, velvety darkness. I bet it's awfully nice for naps too. <laughs> All right, the lens. All right, little satellite. Let's see what the trouble is. Hmm. Everything looks A-OK, -okay, ground control. No dust or scratches on the lens and no evidence of sparkling or violent explosions. Guess that rules out an equipment malfunction after all. Hear that, pal? You're in great shape. Keep up the good work out here. Okay. So that doesn't really explain what that thing was. There we go. There's the other signal. What's this one? Okay, I guess it's just... I don't know. I wonder if this is the coordinates of like where it is right now. Because it is moving. And there's the lens. Alright, cool.
cool. I guess there isn't much else to see here. Ah! Okay. Oh. Wow. Okay. Um. Not really sure what to do now. Um. I am wondering about this. It's like weird black object that appears to be in our solar system sometimes and not other times. Hmm. I don't know. I don't really see it anywhere. It's not a black hole. It's too big for them. There's already a black hole in this game. Just kind of waiting for it to appear. I don't really see any DLC things happening. Um, oh, wait, and let's check out uh, this place. Giant's Deep is pretty cool. It's a gas planet, as you can see. Um, and it's where that that space probe was launched from. I don't quite know what that is. Um, yeah, something just fell in there. That's what the fuck. What is this? What the fuck is this? Oh, I'm falling into the world. Okay, I guess these things just fall into this planet. Yeah, so anyways, this is Giant's Deep. It's a um, gas planet. Um, you can just kind of fly around. There's tornadoes. It's basically Oklahoma. And uh, it rains or hails, and it also uh, lightning storms all the time, so uh, it's a very fun planet. But you know what? I don't remember that bramble stuff over there. I don't remember that being part of this game. Is it this? No, no, no. It was over here. It's by the pole. Yeah, there's this. I don't remember what this is. Okay. Luckily, this guy's got his little gravity field, so we can just, you know, park our ship right there. And you can see, very s strong gravity, as I can barely jump to save my ass. If you're afraid of water, this is not the planet for you. Uh, statue workshop. Um, okay, well, can't go in there. Great. Great structure, bro. Okay, we're walking on the walls now. Makes sense to me. Um, yup. Man, you got aquaphobia. You're kind of fucked, bro. Oh shit. Okay. Um, I don't know what this does. They're going to test the memory statues tonight. F long flocks. What are these fucking flocks says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. But what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? Flocks specifically told us not to do that. I really want to see the test too, Lammy, Lammy, 
Lay me? But that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Flocks will let us see a later test. His name's a fucking stupid dude. Okay. This is, man. Jumping is just fucking useless on this planet, isn't it? Excuse me. I can't even, like, jetpack my way up anywhere. What is this? Oh, you know what? I wonder if a tornado is going to, like, come this way and that's, like, a safe spot. Oh. Maybe like that tornado that's coming our way. Is that coming our way? No, it looks like it's going away. What is this? Um, is it coming our way? I don't know. I can't tell. Well, let's hope time freezes. Welcome to Giant's Deep, friends. I'm excited for you to meet the statues. If I'm not in my dwelling, it's likely I'm in my workshop below. Inside the island. Doesn't look like they're coming our way. How do I... How do I activate this? Man, you really just can't jetpack anywhere, can you? Pretty close there. It looks like they're on their own little path that doesn't involve us, so. There we go. Okay. Let's go back. I don't know. Weird. Well, it's like if there's tornadoes, like, don't go over here. Why are there these tornado spots, right? Also something. Oh, oh, there's the tornado. There it is. Yep. I'm standing in the designated tornado spot. So I will not die, probably. Oh, yep, there we go. Oh, dude. I got flung. We're getting flung into fucking outer space. Oh, I can't leave. I'm getting flung into fucking outer space, bro. Shit. That's awesome. That's awesome. And the ship probably stays on it too. Back to the water we go. Awesome. This game is. Uh, I totally forgot about that. Oh my god, I forgot how cool this game is. Let's get a flashlight going. I can actually see things, you know, because I'm making a YouTube video, so probably people, viewers, should probably be able to see what I'm doing. Now, how do I get under this this island? There's me up there. But how do I enter? Oh, yeah, by the way, I should probably explain. See how the sun is getting bigger and redder? Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, basically, the whole premise of this game, as well as really being a cool space game, it's also kind of Groundhog's Day, whereas this sun is about to go supernova. I know it's a red giant, but just, whatever. But it's about to go supernova, and from the minute you wake up, you have 22 minutes before this explodes to discover and whatever. And once you die, you just start back at the beginning. It's a cool concept. Oh, nope, it's already gone. That's okay, we'll watch it in the map. There it goes. See, we're here at Giant's Deep, so we got a little bit before it reaches us. Well, yep, there it goes. 
and shall consume. And everything goes dark because the sun's fucking gone. And it explodes. And now you can see it. And we die. And my true paleness is revealed. Back again.